a brand new mini PC running Windows, having a lot of computing power and coming from one of the most reputable TV box and mini PC brands. B-Link have refreshed their SEI product line and I think this Intel Core i3 based beastie is worth checking. Let's inspect. Hey, welcome, really good to meet you here. My name is Michael and on the channel here we inspect fresh and cool tech. Today we're going to talk about mini PCs. This here comes from B-Link, company that is that's upside down. <laughs> so a company that is very well known for their fantastic mini computers, but also for Android TV boxes. This here runs Windows. It arrived with Windows 10. I've upgraded to Windows 11. It's part of the SE8 series and somewhere we have a Mark 8. Actually, SEI, reading it through. Uh, with the Mark 8 stands for the 8th generation of Intel's core CPU architecture. We have Intel Core i3 inside, 16 gigs of RAM and a lot of really exciting features. Turns out that this small computer is really good about office work, but also for home entertainment, even for playing games, as long as these games are not too graphics intensive, because this PC counts on the integrated graphics adapter inside the CPU. And when it comes to that, unless we talk about Apple's M1 performance, every other big vendor on the market is still catching up in terms of performance. As usual, price comes first because I believe it is among the major characteristics when you need to buy some new gear. Price starts at around $450, so this here can be your next upgradable PC that will take just a small amount of space or could turn into a very decent secondary computer or might be the best office solution since it supports two external monitors and has a bunch of connectivity ports. No matter what the reason is, definitely billing are a brand that is trustworthy and the great news since we have windows as operating system here you're gonna get frequent software patches and updates and pretty much limitless experience when it comes to apps so unboxing sei that's the abbreviation of the series the i clearly stands for the core i cpu series by intel famous for really amazing performance for the record the cpu alone costs more than one fourth of the asked price so that's a good start, I believe. We're apparently reviewing the more capable version with 16 gigs of RAM. The pack looks good and taking the mini PC out shows pretty nice design. In my opinion, solid build quality. It has square form and the B-Link logo on the top. The sides have nice looking texture, which happens to also deal as cooling apertures and a bunch of ports on the back and the front. The Intel Core i3 generation 8 tab is visible too. At the time I reviewed the unit in early 2022, Intel have just released the 12th generation of their iCo processors, so we clearly have a rather budget-friendly but also a very capable one, despite being just dual-core. A quick test with Microsoft's health checker clearly confirms that it is Windows 11 eligible, so I look forward to getting this version because I really enjoyed it while testing the Morphine M6 a few weeks ago. In terms of accessories, there is a charger, a VESA compliant mounting plate and also cables, including HDMI for linking to a monitor. I think we can already acknowledge the availability of a number of connectivity ports, both on the front and the back of the device, so at least so far I'm quite happy with what we see. But let us verify the rest of the specifications because they are a lot more important. It's powered by the i3-8109U dual-core 4-thread CPU, has 8 or 16 GB RAM, 500 GB or 1 TB M2, Intel UHD graphics, 4 USB 3.0 ports, 2 HDMI ports, USB Type-C, Gigabit LAN, a 3.5 mm port and, of course, active cooling. At the first sight, very promising specs. Digging deeper than that, it's in fact even more interesting because, as it turns out, this box is upgradable. Uh, there are four screws here at the bottom and once you remove this access panel, uh, we can get access to the two DIMM slots and also add a drive. So there is a SATA controller. The thing you could add is um, SSD drive or if you prefer to go for a budget-friendly solution giving you more space, then uh, one of those old 2.5 inch hard disk drives are a very good deal. Now, the um, other thing which I find very interesting, the hardware that is used. RAM is by Crucial, at least in my case, and um, 
the M2 drive, which is embedded, and by the way, it's also upgradable, you just have to flash the operating system in case you decide to remove it. But uh, mine arrived with Kingston, uh, the A2000 series. So that's a very interesting solution, actually quite reliable. Uh, it's an M2 device which runs the Silicon Motion controller and also counts on the Micro 96L TLC flash, which in a matter of fact is very well performing. However, the controller is limiting the experience up to 2, maybe 2.2 2 gigabits per second read and write speed, which helps this drive to maintain a very reasonable price. I had to, of course, test it in order to confirm. According to a few HR monitoring apps, it can write data with very high speeds, close to 1 gig in some moments. It has been very consistent about reading from external SSD and writing down, maintaining close to 400 megabytes per second. Notice the pretty flat line, meaning very steady performance which it maintained for copying close to 100 gigs of data. The drive's temperature has remained below 55 degrees and the fan was only notable when temperature of the drive was going above 45. Not really sure if all the motors are gonna have this particular M2 model, but if they do, this is indeed a great advantage. As for the CPU, some testing never harms. This here is a dual core. It is around only 20% slower than the i7 from Generation 7. So although just a dual core CPU, it has all that it takes to provide battery smooth Windows experience and even handle some more challenging tasks. I have tried playing some games. Here also the graphics controller has a role, just Intel UHD embedded graphics to count on, but it's actually fine for lightweight gaming. Anything that has higher demands about resolution and FPS would be something you prefer to play on another device. But, as you can see, you can count on good experience with most games that require entry-level to moderate graphics adapter. The cooling is definitely excellent and something to be praised, because it doesn't allow the CPU to go into throttling condition, at least not quickly. I had the chance to compare Premiere Pro 4K video encoding, an extremely resource-demanding task. By the time a Gen 10 i5 CPU was ready, the i3 here was almost halfway through it, which is really good. Surprisingly, but with a lot of patience, this can also be a basic video editing station. 1080p is rather well handled if there are not too many effects. 4K editing is sluggish, of course. Video playback, on the other hand, really smooth. I didn't notice any skipped frames. I guess the fact that in here we have 16 gigs of RAM is clearly contributing to the solid performance. Given the price difference between the configurations, I will strongly recommend to go for the 16 gig edition because you will hardly find this amount of memory at a better price. Network speeds are also on par with what you need these days. LAN via cable supports up to 1 gigabit. Wireless speeds solid 30 megabytes per second for copying files and it did reach my connection's maximum speeds of close to 300 megabits per second. Some words about the software experience, and I count this part to the rather positive sides uh, of the B-Link TV box. Why? Because it gets regular updates since we talk about Microsoft, and although we don't have a stamp, or, or only a stamp for the processor, no sign about the fact that in here we have pre-installed activated Windows. In December 2021 I received the box with uh, Windows 10, and upgraded to Windows 11, however not through the Microsoft's upgrade option. I had to download the file, extract it on the flash drive, boot from the drive and go through the installation process which has reverted my mini PC to factory default settings and keep this in mind in case you plan to upgrade. I'm not really sure if upgradability is possible through the Windows itself, but in order to figure out the right way, better get in touch with B-Link's support. Now, when it comes to the operating system, it's free of bloatware, you know, it's uh, totally a vanilla image of Windows and you have to go by yourself through the first time setup and the only kind of data that is being collected by you is that kind of data that I guess Microsoft is interested in at. The BIOS is accessible too with the Dell key. There are in fact a lot of settings that you can fine-tune, but the defaults are anyways good, so if you're not quite sure what a certain mode is gonna do to the system, better don't touch. I really hope to see more and more boxes coming with UEFI sooner or later, since these kind of BIOSes are a bit outdated. Drawbacks! 
I have to adjust them according to the price and for around $450, I think getting a better combo of computer at that size is very challenging, almost impossible. But sure, for the record, I wish the USB ports are generation 3.1 or 3.2. And the top cover, I really hate how obvious all the dust flakes are. Just annoying. The fan is sometimes noisy, which might be a thing if you work in a very quiet environment. Yeah, I could be dreaming of newer generations of CPUs and stuff, but this will for sure make the price a lot higher than that, and Beeling have the SEI 10 series for that purpose already. So I find everything about this TV box to be good, reliable and very consistent about performance. So definitely recommend it, and I've never ever been disappointed in a mini PC or TV box by B-Link anyways, so I really hope they will keep on pushing and keep up designing great TV boxes with amazing price-performance ratio. Just like I'm gonna keep up with showing you cool and innovative technologies on the channel, thank you very much for sticking around, for any questions or experience to share, I'll be glad to hang out in the comments below, take good care, enjoy the day, and I'll see you very soon, bye!